Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and to another makeup video. Today I'm going to be sharing this intense black smoky eyes with some glossy lips. So if you want to see how I get this look, then please keep on watching. So as always, I'm starting off with some sunscreen and this one is from Bondi Scent. It is SPF 50, it's waterproof and it's also UVA and UVB protection and it's also perfume free. So I use this normally both on my face and on my whole body. So I'm just massaging that in really well. After that, I go in with some foundation and I'm using the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the color Santa Fe. I'm applying that all over my face with my Beauty Blender. This is definitely one of the best foundations I've ever had. I found that with some foundations, when my skin is not at its best, they really like clump up and make it really cakey. And this one never does, no matter how like dry my skin is or if it's not doing so well, then this one always looks so flawless on the skin. So if you're looking for a good foundation, I would really recommend this one from NARS. For concealer, I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer and mine is in the color Custard and again, this is also one of my favorite concealers. I've been using that one for the longest time. It's really, really good. So I just apply that under my eyes and I also take it a little bit on my eyelids to really brighten up the eye area since I am going to be making a black color and I just find that the black color gets more intense when I use something brightening under. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Salil Bronzer and this brush from Real Techniques and I start by applying a line on my cheekbones and I just blend that downwards first and then I blend it upwards. This is my favorite techniques for doing my cheekbones. I always had a little bit hard time of like how to do my cheekbones but I feel like now I've gotten into a really good like technique for myself so this is what I've been doing lately. Then I take it also on my temples and all over my forehead and then the other side as well. Then I take it on the sides of my nose and I also like to blend it a little bit on top of my concealer just so there's not like a big contrast between my concealer and my bronzer. And then I also take it down my neck and on my shoulder area just to kind of match my face for this look. Moving on to brows, I'm taking this brush and spoolie from Benefit and I just start by brushing up my brows. Then I go in with this eyeliner from Gosh, and this is in the color Espresso. I normally use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pardo Duo, but today I wanted to go in with this one because it's a little bit more intense in the color. And since I'm going to be doing a very like intense eye look and very dark one, I wanted the brows to be kind of dark as well so it wouldn't like fade away. To set them in place, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just applying that to my brows. And I like to mostly focus it on the inner part of my brows. Then I'm just going to take a Q-tip and some micellar water and clean off my lips and also apply a little bit of lip balm. I'm using this one from Elizabeth Arden. It's one of my favorite lip balms and I do believe it also have SPF, so it's great for summer. And now to the fun part, we are going to go in and do the eyes. So I'm going to start by taking this white color in my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette volume 2. I'm just applying that all over the lid and all the way up until my brows just to kind of create a base for the black color I'm gonna go in with. Then I'm taking a compact eyeshadow brush and taking this black color in the palette and start by applying that down closest to my eye and kind of move it upwards. And I bring this color all the way up to my crease and even a little bit outside my crease. Thank you. 
After I spread the color evenly, I'm just taking a more fluffy eyeshadow brush and I start by blending out the edges. And I just go very slowly and kind of build it up. So just blend, blend, blend. And then I also blend really well on the outer corner and I kind of change in between having like a more compact brush and a fluffy brush depending on where I'm blending. Then I just go in with some more color again all the way up to my crease and blending that out again. And I just do that until the result is how I like it. Then I take a very small compact brush and apply the black color in a line under my eye as well to combine the whole eye makeup look. And after that I take a more fluffy brush and smoke it out. And lastly, I take a little bit more of the black color and just reapply it very, very closest to my eye. So it gives that really nice and smoky look and also a little bit on the edge here. And then I just did the other eye and now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D eyeliner and create a winged liner. I'm making a quite long one because it is a really dramatic look. So you want to make sure you can actually see the eyeliner. Then I also take it in the inner corner of my eye and create a fox eye. Then I'm going to go in with this black eyeliner from NYX and I'm applying that in my waterline, both the upper and the lower one. And this is going to really complete the look and really intensify the eyes. I love using black in my waterline. It's one of my favorite things to do when it comes to makeup. And I've been doing it since I was like, I don't know, like 13 years old or something. I remember I tried it first time there and it was so, so nice. I loved it immediately. And for today's look, I'm also going to be using some fall lashes. So these are some very very long and like feathery lashes so i'm just gonna apply those to my eyes and then i'm also going to be applying some mascara and i'm using the l'oreal lash paradise mascara and i just start by applying that on my lower lashes because the false lashes just had to kind of dry and set in so i did that first and i always like to dab it on with the end of the brush it just gives it a really nice and intense look because most of the mascara usually like clumps up there so i kind of use that to dab it on and then I go in on my upper lashes and combine my own lashes with the false lashes. And now for lips, I'm gonna go in with this MAC Lip Liner. This is in the color Soar. And it's a like pink nude color. It matches very well with my own lip color. It's a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna outline my lips first. And then I'm actually also lining my lips with the same pencil. So I'm not using any lipstick, I'm just using this one. And then I'm gonna go in with this super beautiful purple shimmery glitter lip gloss from MAC. I just got that yesterday. I'm just gonna apply that on my lips. And then I decided for this look also to make a little bit of freckles. So I went in with the same liner I used for my waterline. This is a black eyeliner and I'm just gonna make some freckles with that. So I start by making the small dots and as I go, I kind of dab it a little bit with my finger as well. And as a final step, I'm just gonna take this Dior highlighter and make a little bit of highlight on the tip of my nose. And this is the final look. 
So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every week about beauty, health, fashion, and lifestyle. So there's a lot of new content coming up. And I also just want to say a really big thanks to all of my new subscribers. It means so, so much to me. You have no idea. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!